So there wasn't just a single update yesterday. The Sims team actually pushed another update that was approximately 400 megabytes, but they never released the patch notes for it. So I don't know exactly what that's fixing. I was missing the allow autonomous breakups setting in my game. I just checked right now and I still don't have it for some reason. So I don't think the patch was supposed to fix that, though I am reading online that it could be some love struck fixes of course before the pack officially comes out thanks to some of the game changers that got to explore early access. So going back to the first patch now, unfortunately there have been a bunch of new issues reintroduced or introduced for the first time. If you guys are experiencing anything, let me know exactly what's happening in your games down in the comments section below. But we are hearing that ceilings have broken, there are issues with character values UI, we have an incest bug in relation to neighborhood stories, and there are some weird issues with glass glasses being deformed in create a sim and even some very mean sims. I have some of these tickets from Answers HQ pulled up but before we get into that let's talk about the eyelashes. The brand new eyelash category seems to already be kind of buggy in first person mode. One of the first things that I thought about is did they not even bother testing this in first person mode? I feel like they probably always forget that this is a thing but they should have went in here when creating these because I doubt this is supposed to be part of the update. Some simmers are saying that they find this kind of hilarious or kind of cool but one of many new bugs of course introduced. I'm sure this will be patched out in no time though. There are also reports of not only just visual issues with the character values UI but also game crashing as as well. This can happen if you open the Simology panel on a child and you're going to see flashing and strobing values not showing properly. This has actually already been addressed by EA. Community manager Cade responds to this ticket. Teamwork, we've identified the issue and are investigating the root cause at the moment. Any future updates I'll post here in this thread. Thank you all so much for your speedy and informative replies. Another new issue that was reported is sims will either say they cannot use the fishing spot or will run around it in an attempt to reach it before saying the same. There were quite a few people that me tooed this so this is likely also a new issue. And the issue with insulting very very mean sims seems to have returned. This was first originally posted on Answers HQ back in January of 2023. I don't know if it was ever entirely fixed but there were definitely less people reporting on this bug for a while but it seems like as of this latest patch this issue has returned. Sims will use mean interactions randomly without a reason ruining relationships. Oh gosh. The second that they announced curve pulls would be arriving I kind of already had a feeling that there would be some sort of issues or bugs with them and of course there are visual glitches with the new curved pools feature. On the parts of the pool where it is curving, the floor texture that you have placed disappears. And even excluding some of these issues with the character values UI, the same problem seems to be happening on the left side of the screen with the moodlets panel and the sim portrait as well. One simmer on Answers HQ reports that they traveled to a different lot with their household in the U UI of the Sims icon in the bottom left in live mode had been totally broken. Sim picture had disappeared, moodlets were two dimensional blank blue squares, the queued up actions were a mixture from all of my sims in household and it did not change or highlight any sim they clicked on or changed control over. This person reports having no 
mods and no custom content. Yikes, this patch honestly has been quite a mess. I am very interested to learn what you guys have been experiencing in your games and what sort of visual glitches you guys have, but also make sure you guys are removing your mods and custom content. There are a lot of issues, but it's because things are conflicting. So make sure you guys remove everything before you test your games to make sure that the issues are actually the game itself and not the game interacting with broken mods. And last but not least, we're covering the weird incestual stuff being back yet once again. Oh, it seems we can never get away from this. What happens when this bug occurs? One answers HQ user writes a sim will call up and ask for advice. It's the I have a crush on. Do you think I should give it a shot message? However, it's about a relative. So far, I've had a guy telling me he's had a crush on his cousin and a niece saying she's romantically interested in her uncle. Oh, geez. It's kind of gross. Of course, we do have some pictures of this. I just hope that this can be resolved as soon as possible. We are definitely in need of an emergency hotfix update, so hopefully they're jumping on things and getting things fixed. And of course, if there are any other updates on this, like if they announce a new patch or release it, of course, I'll be back to give you guys the rundown as soon as possible so just make sure you guys are subscribed and have your notifications turned on again share below what kind of issues you've been having or if you haven't been having any issues let me know below that's it for me take care and happy life simming bye guys